If you own Speedplay pedals or you're thinking of switching to them, then this video is for you. Now, Speedplay pedals are great. I'm a fan of them. I've got them on my bikes. They offer lots of adjustment. They have uh, lots of float too, which can help with knee issues if you, if you have those. Double-sided entry makes clipping in really easily. And they have more cornering clearance than some other pedal systems as well. But they are a bit more of a complicated design. And this can mean that you need to perform more maintenance than some more simplistic pedal systems out there. And performing the uh, required maintenance will prolong the life of your pedals significantly and maintain the high performance of them. So it's well worth doing, especially as these can be quite an expensive pedal. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. These are the tools that you will need to service your speed play cleats and pedals. First up, you're gonna need a grease gun like this. But don't worry, if you don't have a grease gun, then you can simply use a syringe. Next, you're gonna need some viscous grease or lube. So I'm gonna use something like this from Park Tool. Just make sure it's not a thin, uh, loose, very liquid grease. Next, you're gonna need a rag or some kind of old uh, tea towel so that you can clean things and remove excess grease. Look, mum, I promise this isn't one of your best tea towels. I know it looks like it, but it's not, I promise. Def definitely isn't. Next, you're gonna need a Phillips number one head screwdriver, like this. You're next gonna need some dry lube. This is for the cleats, not the pedals. You can use various different types. And finally, you're gonna need a proper brew because all maintenance jobs work better when you've got a, a proper brew and you're, um, you're lubricated as well as the, the bike parts. Starting with the pedals, Speedplay recommends that you change the grease inside the pedals roughly every 2,000 miles or so, or if you go for a ride in really wet, prolonged conditions, you should probably have a look at changing the grease, or if you go for a ride in really dusty conditions as well. So maybe if you go for a ride in the Sahara Desert, I don't know, some people, some people ride there. Anyway, it's a pretty easy thing to do, so. If you want to test your pedals to see if they are properly greased, then what you can do is just give them a quick spin with your fingers like this. And what you're looking for is for them to come to a stop after one or two revolutions. If they spin freely on the axle, uh, then that suggests that there isn't sufficient grease in there or the grease that you've got in there is like really light, well, too light uh, for purpose. So like a mineral oil or something, that's not what you want. You want a nice thick grease that kind of gives some resistance like that. First, take the pedal and give it a good clean with the rag. Mine are filthy, so give them a nice clean. Just wipe off any excess dirt and mud and crap that's on there. There's quite a bit of rubbish in there. Next, take your Phillips number one head screwdriver and then we're gonna remove this bolt on the end. From here, you can now access the grease port and the bearings which are inside. So there's cartridge and needle bearings inside here. You may want to wear gloves for this job because there's gonna be grease and it just might be a bit nicer. Next, you wanna take your grease gun or your syringe. Um, syringes are quite useful to have as a workshop tool and they work for this job. They're much cheaper than buying a dedicated grease gun and the advantage of syringes are they're used for, for loads of other bike jobs. So you can use them for doing your uh, tubeless tire sealant or for changing the fluid on your hydraulic disc brakes as well. So syringes are a useful thing. Now I'm gonna inject the grease in here Injecting the grease in does take a bit of pressure, but you can see it's starting to emerge from the other side of the pedal here. And once it starts to run clear with the new grease, you're done. Um, so I'm gonna then wipe off this excess grease, use a kitchen towel, and get rid of that. One thing you must never do is inject some kind of spray like uh, WD-40 into this port, as according to Speedplay, this can cause irreversible damage to the bearings inside. 
Once you've done that and wiped down the excess grease off your pedal, um, you simply want to reinsert the little uh, crap. That's never to be seen again. Right, don't drop the little screw that goes in the end. So yeah, after you've replaced your grease, you want to reinsert, take your Phillips, reinsert the screw in the end. And then you should be good to go. If you want extra bonus marks, then you can also, at the same time, it makes sense to do it, uh, strip the thread, the grease that's on there and put some nice clean new thread grease on, on there as well. It makes sense to do. And also, when you're cleaning your pedals down, because there's a bit of dirt in mine stuck in these little recesses, Q-tips are really useful, or cotton buds if you're from England, because that's what we call them here. Um, I think Q-tip sounds way cooler, doesn't it? You don't get any wrappers called cotton buds. At this point, take a nice sip of your brew. And now we're gonna move on to the cleats. So, first thing to do, give them a nice clean with your rag. Um, I wouldn't spray WD-40 directly onto them, but some kind of cleaning spray sprayed onto the rag can be a bit useful for then just removing some of the dirt that's accumulated in there. Um, a toothbrush is also a useful tool for getting into the little recesses of the spring. Now the important thing to remember when you apply lubricant to your cleats is not to use a wet lube or an oil, as wet lubes and oil attract dirt, which then creates a grinding paste like it would on your chain, and this will cause accelerated wear of the cleat body and the spring, and also the pedal body as well, as it rubs against uh, the cleat. Speedplay also recommends that the two areas that you should lube are here, this area, the cleat interface, and also this cleat spring, which is here and you should avoid getting oil on this area, on the outside cleat body, unless you wanna you know, walk around like Bambi on ice, because um, it'll make you slip. For lubricating your cleats, this is what you're gonna use your dry lube for, specifically a dry lube. Speedplay does have its own specific product, but don't worry if you haven't got that, I haven't got it. I'm just gonna use this WD-41, because it's what's in my toolbox. Just one thing though, don't use a, a sort of WD-40 type spray sprayed directly into the cleat. Um, a Speedplay doesn't recommend this and reckons it can damage uh, the product. So I'm talking to you mainly, Cy Richardson. You're next gonna take your dry lube and simply apply it here onto the cleat surface uh, where the cleat interacts and rubs against the uh, pedal. And then also onto the spring here and just apply a little bit on there. When you're re-greasing your cleats, have a look out for flat spots on the spring as this is a sign of wear and that they might need replacing. Also, when you're actually clipped in and pedaling, if you have excessive play and side-to-side -side movement, um, then that can also be a sign that they're worn out and they need replacing as well. But with proper maintenance, Speedplay reckons that you can get around 5,000 miles uh, out of a set of cleats, so well worth staying on top of them. Right, I hope you found this video useful, and remember, performing this kind of regular maintenance on Speedplay pedals will make them last much longer and keep their high performance, so it's well worth doing. And if you found this video useful, please give it you know, a thumbs up, share it with your mates, and if you'd like to support the channel and what we do, then subscribe for more maintenance videos and other cycling-related content. I'm gonna go for a ride now, so I'm gonna put my freshly lubed pedals Back in the Orbea, go for a nice spin. I'll see you later.